Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, thank you for tuning in. My name is Tia and I am engaged and I am wedding planning. So I'm coming at you today with another wedding planning video. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So subscribe to me to go with me through my wedding planning process. And if you're wedding planning, we can go through this thing together and use each other um, to bounce ideas off of and ask friends and just have a fun time. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So basically how this channel works, if you haven't figured it out yet, is I go through something in my wedding planning journey and then I'm like, I should go make a video about that so I can help everybody else doing it. So that's what you're getting. So um, today or the last few days, I have been thinking about and working on the music. Now I know it's kind of far out to be thinking about the music and everything. For some people, I know I haven't even bought a dress or anything like that yet, but music is really important to me and my fiance. We both um, play instruments and work on um, production, music production um, through software and everything. So music is just a really big part of our lives. So we're just working on making sure the music just really is bomb. So what I'm going to be talking about today is how to choose your music for your wedding. Um, and I'm going to be going over mostly things about the ceremony because I think, I mean obviously when you want the music to be good when you get on the dance floor and get in a party pumping and jumping all around and everything, but it's really important to have the music right for your ceremony and your big moment and everything. So there are about three to five songs that you need to choose for your wedding ceremony. There could even be more than five, but just typically you are choosing between or three to five songs for your wedding ceremony. So the first song that you need to choose that's going to be the special song or a special song um, that's going to be time coordinated is going to be for your processional. So this is um, when your grandparents, your parents, your bridal party, you know, your bridesmaids, your groomsmen are going to be walking in and down the aisle. So you need to pick this song. So this is typically something really romantic. Um, I know some people, like there's some common songs that you can choose. Um, and obviously those are pretty, they're romantic. They have been chosen for lots of weddings for a reason. Those are things like um, Pocket Bell's Canon, stuff like that. Really pretty things that you can choose. Um, some really common ones that are, you know, not classical music that people love to do these days are like, is like the only exception. Um, people love to do that, do that song. Um, like Marry You by Bruno Mars, that one's more like upbeat and pop and stuff, but people like to do that sort of thing. Um, just songs like that, they're really popular. Really pretty gorgeous songs, but those are definitely very common songs. So if you're trying to, you know, be more unique or something, I wouldn't go with those songs. Not for that. You can always put those songs um, in the beginning of the, or before your ceremony starts, when your guests are coming in to sit down, you can put those songs there as background music, and that's really cute. But if you're going for something more unique, I would definitely recommend that you not use the tactic of like Googling top wedding songs to use or something like that. I know you're coming here because maybe you're trying to get some song examples for your wedding. But if you're really going for something unique and something that really fits you, I would not suggest you go to Google and say, oh, what are the top wedding songs to choose? Because you're going to get songs that everybody is using. So yeah, my tip is to not do that and really try to be more unique and be more yourself. So yeah, so you're going to need that song for your processional. You can play with this a little bit as far as um, if you're going to just have one song or two songs in that 
period of time. If you have a very large bridal party, let's say you're doing like, I don't know, 10 bridesmaids and 10 groomsmen, and you're gonna have, you know, six sets of grandparents and parents and five flower girls, you know, if you're going for this big elaborate, elaborate crazy ceremony, you might need to do two songs during that time, um, just so that there's enough song time uh, for the whole processional, or you can just repeat your song, keep it going. Um, that's especially useful or possible if you have live music. So you're gonna have to choose. Do you want to have li a live musicians, um, a band, a violinist, a pianist? Um, what do you wanna do for your music? Or do you want to have um, like this a sound system that's gonna play your music? I will say that live music is really pretty. Uh, it adds an, an extra special element to your wedding. Um, and this can be especially great if you have a family musician or somebody who's really close to you who plays, and that's gonna mean something really special for you. But if you don't, I will say that obviously it's gonna be more expensive to hire a live musician, and um, it might limit your song choices. If you really have some songs that you have in your mind that you're like, oh, I just love this song, that might be that might be perfect for my wedding, you might not be able to have that in a live music atmosphere, you know, especially let's say you only wanted to have one violinist do it because that was more cost effective or maybe your friend just plays violin and doesn't have, you don't have multiple people to do like a quartet or anything like that. Well, one violinist doesn't provide a very full sound, so you might not get that sound that you're looking for or the song that you want to walk down the aisle to might not be a good song for just the violinist. So those are just some things that you're going to have to weigh and think about is if that song that you really love and want to choose, if that can be played by a live musician um, or the live musician you were thinking of doing because maybe that song can be played by live or be played live but it needs a full band and you don't have that. So just kind of think about that and weigh your options. But yeah, so you're gonna need this song. And then the other option why you might choose two songs is this is also gonna be when your groom walks out, but your groom might choose or want to have his own song. So that might be where you have two songs is you'll have one song for everybody else and then one song just for your groom. So that's where you can have two. And then the next song is going to be your song, the song that the bride walks down the aisle to. There's also two ways that you can do this. So you, if you're gonna have a ring bearer and a flower girl, or either one of those, do you want to have that person, those people walk out with the rest of the bridal party? Do you wanna have them walk out to that bridal party song? Or, do you want to have them walk out right before you as the bride and lead you into or down the aisle? And if so, then they're going to be tacked on to your bridal song, most likely. So that's something that you're going to have to choose too. And so yeah, you're going to need the song that you, the bride, want to walk down the aisle to. This is typically something super romantic. You're going for the tear jerkers here, usually pretty slow, somber with big music swells. That song that when you're really happy or maybe really sad and you're crying over some love or something that that's your go-to song, that's the song that you want to choose right here um, to walk down the aisle to. If you go more traditional, obviously you could do like Here Comes the, bar the Bride or again like Paco Bell's Canon, like common songs, but this is really your time to shine. So there's that song and then you're going to need a song or this is where you can have um, the four song option so if you're not going to do this next thing you would only have three songs but if you are going to have a sand ceremony or a unity candle ceremony you're going to need to choose a song for that don't forget to do that that's gonna be an important moment you're gonna want a little bit of background music for that moment so if you are going to do either one of those things, choose a song for that. You can literally choose a song 
that's about unity or about love or about joining together or just pick one of your favorite songs something that you both love together and that just makes you two feel like a couple and feel complete whenever you hear it maybe it's one of those songs that you um, always sing in the car together or something but this again this typically is more a romantic light soft song not really typically anything poppy and then so that's gonna be your third song option or skip this option if you're not gonna do one of those ceremonies and then the fourth song that you're gonna need for your ceremony is going to be your recessional song so this is when you have said I do you've been pronounced husband and wife or wife and wife or husband and husband or whatever and you are done and it's time to leave out so you can go take your photos so this is the party song it's typically happy bouncy um, really enjoyable um, that makes you want to just dance and pop champagne and just be super happy so that is your recessional song so definitely choose something but when it comes on it just makes you want to go yeah or woo, and it just makes you want to get up and dance and party and just like yeah so this is a good time to choose like your close your eyes and sing like this with your partner song that's that song right here that just makes you feel super happy so those are going to be your three or four songs that you're going to need for your ceremony so obviously there are a lot more songs you're going to need to think about choosing a song for when your bridal party enters the reception area when you make your grand entrance into the reception area for your first dance for your father-daughter dance for your mother-son dance for your um, your bridal party opening up the dance floor dance for your cake cutting dance all of these things for your exit ceremony if you're gonna do a sparkler exit or whatever maybe you want a song for that there are a lot of songs that you're going to need to choose besides giving your DJ or your band like a set list of must-have songs or songs that you really want to be played while you're doing while you're dancing so just think about those songs and also think about what part of those songs you want to play for example if you really love love a song that's five minutes long it's not going to take you as the bride five minutes to walk down the aisle so you're going to either just play the beginning of the song or you're going to need to choose a spot in the song that is the most beautiful part that you love to actually walk down the aisle to and either edit it or tell your DJ or your band where you want them to start so you're getting that beautiful swelling musical moment that you're looking for for when you're walking down the aisle so I just want to give you a couple of tips of how to choose these songs my biggest tip that I can give you one is don't choose them yourself I know that when we are doing all this planning and we're doing it a lot by ourselves or if you have a coordinator maybe you're doing it with them but that's not this is not the thing that you need to completely decide yourself or to be doing with your coordinator you need to do it with the person that you are marrying because this is going to be that special moment the special songs that are going to really make your ceremony so it's okay if you have song suggestions or you're researching and things but just make sure that you remember to go and ask your partner hey do you have any songs that you really want to be played or when you come up with a list bring it to them and make sure hey I really like these songs what do you think don't just choose them yourself and you know not let your partner in on that experience especially if they want to walk or you know let them know hey I know a lot of this is about or a lot of focus is on me as the bride but I want you to be able to have a special moment when you walk down the aisle do you want a special song as the groom or as my partner or whatever make sure you go and you ask them you talk to them about it and then I really suggest again that you do not go on Google and Google you know top 10 wedding songs or something like that I really think and believe that this 
should be a special moment, so the songs should be something that are special to you. Now, it might not come off the top of your head, but I guarantee you, you have some beautiful songs that you love, that you know the words to, you, that are super special to you, that just aren't popping off the top of your head. So go ahead and sit down, go through your music list, your Apple Music, your Spotify, whatever you're using, and just listen to those songs. Scroll through it. I'm guarantee you're gonna see something and be like, oh, yeah, that's the song. Something is going to click and you're gonna be like, that is the one. That is what I should walk down the aisle to. Or that should be my, or I love that song that always makes me feel so happy and jam. And that's gonna be my recessional song. So go through your own music that you actually listen to, that you have saved on your phone, on your computer, and use that music because that music is the music that is special to you. Or, you know, when you're listening to music in your normal day life or on the radio or whatever, and if there's a song that comes on and you love that song, you're like, oh my gosh, I love that song, and you and your fiance are jamming to it in the car, that's your song too. That's your song. Or if you already have a special song, maybe think back, is there a song that was playing the first time that you met or the first time you danced together? Maybe that's a great song. So just really personalize your wedding instead of just choosing one of those typical songs. Now, those songs are great. I love those typical or commonly used songs. But if that song doesn't mean anything to you really, except that it was on a list and it sounded pretty, maybe don't choose that one. Maybe choose something a little bit that fits you a little bit better. So those are really my tips for choosing your songs. And again, really think about once you do find those songs that you really love, that's gonna help you decide if you're going to do live music versus recorded music for your ceremony. Also think about if you want the it to just be an instrumental versus having words to the music, so. A lot of the times, for example, for me, there are some songs that I was choosing and we we're like, oh, well, let's try doing the instrumental, you know, so that the words aren't getting in the way or whatever, because um, instrumentals are really common. But then you listen, try to find an instrumental version of it and it doesn't have that same meaning or the same feeling to it because a lot of that feeling was coming from the artist and the artist's voice and how beautiful that is. So just think about that. And I'll go ahead and share with you a couple of the song choices or artists that I have chosen so far. These might change, obviously, because we're still a little bit away from the wedding. But so far, um, for example, I'm going to be walking, or I might have the bridal party walk out to a Miley Cyrus song, When I Look At You. What do you think of that song? That is a beautiful song. Um, and it has special meaning to me because we're around the same age. I grew up with her and say what you want about her. That song is bomb so, and it makes me feel something whenever I hear it. That song doesn't have as much oomph to it in an instrumental. So I will probably do the words or have it with words. Um, another great artist to check out if you are looking for ceremony music and just need some help. Obviously I said choose your own music, but if you're looking for something really pretty, go check out Leah Michelle. She's from Glee. Uh, you might know her from Glee, um, but she has her own albums and that girl can sing and it's all beautiful. So there are some really great Leah Mich Michelle songs that make perfect wedding songs. So. Go check her out if you haven't already or if you haven't heard of her before. So definitely check Leah out. All right, everybody. I hope that you found this video useful or helpful. I know sometimes I'm just rum like mumbling on and everything, but I'm just telling you the process that I've been going through or the things that have been going through my head and how I made my decision decisions on what I chose so yeah just thank you for watching I really appreciate you tuning in to me I do post videos I 
typically every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. A lot of them are wedding videos right now because obviously I'm getting or I'm getting married, I'm engaged, so you're gonna see a lot of wedding content here. But I also do content about Las Vegas or if I vlog trips. I'm just vlogging everyday life too. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what songs you are thinking about for your wedding. If you want to bounce ideas off me, I will definitely talk to you down in the comments. And again, I, I appreciate you watching. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm super new and I'm really excited to just be here sharing with you guys and planning with you guys and having fun with y'all. So thank you so much. And if you'd like to receive an update or a notification for when I post videos, do not forget to hit that bell icon.